What's up guys, Garrett here with Self Taught Dev. Today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the two interviews I went through on my journey to become a web developer. Um, and then at the end, I'm gonna give you a little coding challenge to see if you're ready to start applying for jobs or not. So, first interview was with a marketing firm over in Plano. Uh, I mean, I work with a marketing firm now. But, uh, let's see, basic stuff, um, that's what they asked, basic stuff. Uh, they wanted to know like why I wanted to become a web developer, um, whether I would pref whether I preferred working with a team or by myself, if I had problems with my teammates, how I'd handle that, and I had to give them like an example of how I handled the situation back when I worked at Orange Theory Fitness. I yeah, um, the non-technical questions were basic star response stuff, um, you know, like situation. You gotta just Google star and that's how you answer non-technical questions. Um, and then technical wise, they ask like, have I ever used gold node? Um, what I've been working with the most, like what projects I've done, what my favorite project has been, uh, what text editor I used, stuff like that. Um, and then as far as what they got me to do after the questions, they basically gave me a mock-up of the website, or of a website, and they said, all right, you have 20 minutes, build as much of this as you can. And I was still pretty slow, so I didn't get too far. Um, so be ready for in-office coding stuff, because I thought they'd give me, I thought they'd probably give me like a mock-up and say, all right, build this and get this to us on Monday, because I was interviewing on Friday, so I figured it'd be like a project I'd take home and do over the weekend or something. And I got super nervous and it caught me off guard when they were like, all right, build this website right now. Um, I mean, I could do it. it I, just, I was just slow. So there was somebody that did it faster and he got the job and they, off, they ended up offering me like an internship, uh, internship position for 90 days. Um, the pay was just like lower than I could manage because I had a place that I was paying like 650 for rent. And if I moved and took that job, or internship, I'd have to start paying like a grand for rent and rent increase plus pay, stepping like stepping down in the pay, couldn't really make that work. Um, but the second interview, my current company, they also wanted to know like why I wanted to get into web development and how I got started in it. And then they asked um, a couple basic questions like the other people do. And then as far as technical questions, they wanted to know I said, like, all right, what are the different values you can use for position? Like fixed, relative, absolute, um, that's all I came up with. And then there's static, which is like the default value. So missed that one. And then I had to explain the differences between each value. Um, kinda, kinda got that one, but then TJ kinda explained the difference a little bit better. And I actually have to use that later in the little coding challenge they gave me, which is what I'm gonna give you at the end here. Um, I can't really remember many of the other questions they asked me. I think that was about it. But the coding challenge, which I'm gonna give to you and I want you to do, and this is a way to find out if you're ready to start applying for jobs or not. Um, you also have to have built like a portfolio of projects too. But they said, build a button that you click on and it'll alert your name to the screen. So basically just a button element and you click on it and with JavaScript you make it alert your name. Then I had to basically make the, back, make the background blue, which is really easy, wrap it in a div, then give the div a height of like 300 and make the div's background red so it's different from the button. Then I had to give the button like 10% or a 10 pixel padding all around, make the borders round, um, give it five pixels of margin all, around, margin all around, and then put it in the bottom right of the div without using flexbox or anything like that, like just using relative and absolute fixed positioning. So, <coughs> ah, excuse me. I want you to open up CodePen and rewind the video a little bit and do that button challenge. Think of. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
I just got done cooking food, and there's like pepper in the air. It's making me sneeze. But yeah, open up CodePen, rewind the video, do that button challenge, and then post the link to your CodePen in the description, and I'll go check it out for you, make sure it looks good. Um, but as long as you can answer those questions and you've got a portfolio page of like four or five projects that you built and can do that button challenge without having to Google too much, I'd say you're ready. So start applying. If you have any questions or need anything else, uh, just let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time. Peace.